Hi friends, this is Bakapa. In this video, I am going to discuss about how to fix the Chrome browser issue in the Selenium automation testing. So previously, very recently, we have seen the if your Chrome browser version is triple one plus, we were getting the issue while launching the browser using the Selenium web driver. So we have fixed it by passing the argument to the Chrome option object, right? So now again, when your browser got updated to the 115 plus or 116 plus, if you look at my browser, my current Chrome browser version is 116 plus. If you look at here, so it is 116 plus. So whenever your browser is got updated to the latest version, so if I run my Selenium automation test, so it will be unable to launch the Chrome browser for me. And if you look at this console output, it is not able to launch the Chrome browser. So it is giving me the warning unable to obtain the driver by using the Selenium manager. So this problem is occurring. So especially when you are using the, so here I'm going to the Selenium Java Maven dependency. So just I want to show you. So where and all this particular issue is exist. So if you are using 4. 8.2 or 4.8.1 less than the this particular version for example if you are using 4.7 4.7.1 less than this particular version that is the 7. Dot, sorry guys 4.8.2 version so if you are using less than this particular version so you will be facing an issue while launching the browser so how to fix this particular chrome browser launching issue so there are two solutions the very first solution is you can directly use the latest version of the Selenium web driver that is a 4.11.0. So that's a very first solution. So let's uh, see how to add the this particular de Maven dependency to the Maven project. And then we'll see the second solution, how to fix the Chrome browser issue by using the second solution as well. So let's look at the first solution first. So here I'll go to the my pom.xml file. Simply I will add the latest Maven dependency. So that's it. Now we have updated our Maven dependency of the Selenium Java to the 4.11.0. So previously we have executed the same test. We got the error. So it was unable to launch the Chrome browser. Now once again, I will run this particular test. So now it should launch the Chrome browser and it, it should enter the this particular URL and it should wait for a few seconds and it should close the web browser. So if you see here, it has launched the web browser and already it is entered the URL and it will wait for a couple of seconds. Then simply it is closing the browser. And if you look at the result also, so our test is getting passed, right? So this is the first solution, how to fix the Chrome browser issue in the Selenium automation testing. So coming to the second solution. So what I will do is simply I will update my palm.xml so palm.xml file Selenium Java version into the my previous version. So previously I was using using uh, 4.7.0. So if I execute the same test, so just I have reverted changes back so that I will get the same error. So I will go to the console output. So it is unable to launch the Chrome driver using the Selenium manager, right? So what we can do is you can go to the Google and here you simply type the Chrome driver. So after entering the Chrome driver, go to the web driver for, for Chrome downloads. Very first link, make sure that you are going, going into the inside the official website of the Chrome driver dot Chromium dot org dot sorry. So under the org, you need to go to the downloads only. So simply click on the first link. And here you can click on this version selection or the Chrome for testing availability dashboard. So this particular portal is provided for the downloading the Chrome driver. Simply you can click on either of the links. It goes to the same page. From here you can download the your Chrome for testing web browser driver. So simply you can click on the stable version. Here there are multiple version of the versions of the Chrome browser driver is available. So let's use the stable version. So I will click on stable. So once you come here, 
so latest version is 116 plus right so there are two sections here one is chrome another one is chrome driver here you can find the respective platform so in my case so mine is uh, windows that's a 64 so that's the reason simply i will copy this link and i'll paste it here so it will download the chrome driver in the format of zip so in my case i have already downloaded it so this is where i have kept it so simply i will copy this particular path and i'll come back to the my selenium test so we can what we can do is simply we can set the property of the chrome driver path so this is our old approach by using this also we can resolve the issue with the launching the browser using the selenium so here i'll say web driver dot chrome driver so that's it and then here we have to pass the chrome driver path so here here i'll say the name of the dot exe file as chrome driver dot exe so that's it the very first solution we have seen we have to we have to update our Ma maven dependency of the selenium java that's the first solution the second solution is you need to download the chrome for testing chrome driver dot exe file from the google official website after downloading it simply you can specify the path of the chrome driver dot exe file so that's it guys so let's run this test once again and if you look at this one so it has launched the web browser now and also it is entered the url and it is opening the respective web page and it will wait for a couple of seconds and it will close the web browser and if you look at the output also our test is passing so this is how you can fix the chrome browser issue in the latest version of the chrome browser versions hi friends this is bakapa in this video i will guide you how to learn api testing using postman and rest assured library there are two ways to learn the api testing you can learn entire api testing from the test test talk channel or you can refer the official documentation and you can learn the api testing so firstly i will show you how you can learn the api testing using postman tool from the test stock you can go to the youtube and here you can search for postman by test stock and you will see the very first playlist that is a postman by test stock you can go inside this playlist this particular playlist contains all the chapters and the latest chapters are added into this particular playlist so if you look at here so the very first course it contains the eight chapters and if you scroll down very recently i have added the ninth chapter tenth chapter and eleventh chapter so in the upcoming days i will be adding latest api testing tutorial on the postman so you keep checking this particular playlist and if i have added it will be there in this playlist in the down so this is how you can learn the postman api testing from the tester stock now let's see how to learn rest assured api automation testing from the tester stock you can go to the youtube and here you can search for rest assured by tester stock so here you will find the very first playlist that is the rest assured by tester stock you can go to this playlist and if you see here video number three and four so if you see here so these are the full courses it has the 11 chapters and if you come down here so this is the 12th one so this is the 13 this is the 14 15 16 and 17 and 18 so you will be finding the latest chapters in this particular playlist so you can find uh, if i'm adding 9 19 chapter so that will be added over here so keep on you can checking this particular playlist to learn the api testing using the rest assured so far you have seen how to learn api testing using postman and rest assured library from the tester stock now let's see how you can learn the api testing from the official documentation so you can go to the google.com and here you just type postman learning center
and you can go to the very first official website of first link of the postman official website and here you will find the explore the docs click on this particular button on the left side you will see the all the content and you can simply click on get started and you can learn ap testing using the postman tool and now i will show you how to learn api automation testing using the rest assured library you can go to the google.com and here you can search for rest assured official documentation and here you will find the very first link of the rest assured official website you can click on this particular link and if you scroll down you will find the documentation section here and here you can click on the third link that is a usage guide and it will take you to the github page and here you will find the contents so this is a list of content for the rest assured api automation testing so if you click on any of the topic it will take you to the respective content so this is how you can learn the api testing using postman and rest assured